Hey there, welcome back to Polysthetic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this broken glass screen space shader that you see here. If you've been watching my devlogs, when the player gets hit by an alien, there is a probability, depending on how hard the hit is and depending on the difficulty level, that one of these will pop up on the screen and won't go away until the level is cleared. Okay, so to begin, let's delete this sprite. I'm going to assume that you already have some kind of texture. I drew this myself. It's pretty straightforward. Let's add, you can either use a texture rectangle or a sprite. I'm just going to use a sprite. And I'm going to add this to my texture. I'm going to drag this down here. Scale that up a little bit. Okay. Next, we're going to go to our you know, canvas item properties down into material, the material property. We're gonna add a new shader material. Click into it, go to shader and add new shader. Okay, so the first step is specifying the shader type. Now it's a screen space shader, so it'll be of the type canvas item. And all of the work we're going to be doing is in the fragment function. In other words, it just operates on pixels, not on vertices. Define a constant called white. Constant vector 4, because colors are four dimensional vectors, RGB and alpha. We're going to set every value to 1, so solid white. First thing we'll do is simulate refraction, which is the bending of light. And I'm going to do this by just offsetting the what's behind the crack by some amount of pixels. So to do this, we take this color property constant. This, this then gets outputted. We're going to sample the screen shader. So here we can put in screen texture. And what we need here is UV. Now we need, let me show you something here. If you pass in the UV property, what it's actually going to send in is the UV of the screen mapped into the size of the sprite. So 0, 0 gets mapped here and 1, 1, well, all the way over here gets mapped there. So what you actually want is the screen UV. And now you'll see that it's completely transparent. And here we want to define some offset. So here, up top, let's add a uniform so we can change this in the editor. And I'm going to make it of the type vector2. We're going to call this refraction offset. And we'll initialize it to some value here. So we'll say 25 pixels to the right, 25 pixels downwards. Because positive x is to the right and positive y is down. And here, we're going to add the offset. Now this may seem a bit strange, but that's because the screen UV vector, it goes from zero, which is the top left corner, to one one, which is the bottom right corner. So this refraction offset, because it's in pixels, not in UV coordinates, we need to multiply it to shrink it down to pixel coordinates. Now we have a built-in value called the screen pixel size. Now what this screen pixel size value does is it divides the resolution of the screen and puts it into a vector. So here, if the screen is 1520 by 855, which is the resolution for my main game, this will return a vector 2 of 1 over 1520 and 1 over, uh, and 1 over 855. So it's the inverse of the resolution, and this will return the pixels in UV coordinates. And we're multiplying this element-wise by this refraction offset vector. And because we've made that vector uniform, we can now edit this in script. It's a bit difficult to see. Let's make this minus 50. So you can see 
well, it's shifted to the right, but it's sampling to the left. Yeah, that's how that works. Let's head back to the shader. Now we want to confine this refraction effect to just the portions of our texture that are white and the transparent ones will just shine through. So we need to read from the texture assigned to the sprite. And to do that, we take the color built in. Again, read from the texture. The texture we're reading from is from the texture built in. Now this is the texture that assigned to the sprite. And similarly, UV. So if I comment out this line, you can see that we're just reading the texture again. And here we can say, if this color is not equal to white, remember that's that constant we made, we can just return out of this shader. And so now the refraction is confined only to the white portions of the texture that we have. Alternatively, we could do it like this. Let's comment these lines out. We can take this offset here and we can multiply it by the alpha channel of the texture and we get the same result. Now I'm not sure, but some people do say that you should avoid the use of if statements in shaders because they're not as efficiently handled in GPUs and some people disagree with that. So um, it's up to you, profile your, your shaders and see what works best. For clarity, I'm just gonna use this method. Now the next part of this shader is the reflection part. So the parts of the crack, which either reflective or have total internal refraction. So in other words, just reflect anyway. And I've simulated this simply by setting them to a translucent white color. First, let's export another vector too, and we'll call this the reflection offset. Now this is best not to be done in screen pixels because this is a pixelated texture on its own. It's best to do it in the texture coordinates of the sprite. So I'm just gonna say offset one pixel to the right and one pixel down, and then we're going to sample the adjacent color. So remember, these shaders execute in parallel on a single pixel. So if you want to know what the neighbor's pixel is and the texture, we can we can read that just by offsetting the, the UV. But we need to store that in a separate variable. So we're going to say vector four adjacent color. And we're going to read the texture again. We're going to use the same UV coordinate, but we're going to add the reflection offset. Now again, this is UV coordinates, this is pixel coordinates. So to convert this into UV coordinates, we need to multiply it by the texture pixel size built in. And so the size of this texture is 128 by 128. So this one here is just one over 128 and one over 128. All right, almost home. Now here, this adjacent color, if it's somewhere in the middle of the crack, the adjacent pixel will be white. But if it's somewhere on the edge, the adjacent pixel will be transparent. So those are the points that we want to have that reflection, that reflection simulation. And if the adjacent pixel is white, then it's somewhere in the middle of the crack. We want that to have this refraction simulation. So here we can say, if the adjacent color is not white, we update this color to be, well, we should make this also uniform so we can change it. So uniform vector four, we call this the reflection color. I'm going to set this to translucent white. And 
here, we can add a hint. So the hint happens before the assignment. So we'll tell it it's a color. Oops. No U in that one. And we can assign it to some value. So here we can make this color the reflection color. Now, if the adjacent color is not white, in other words, if it's in the middle of the cr crack, we can say color is that offset, that refraction offset color. As you can see, that's the completed uh, shader. And here you can tweak the parameters. Now, this because this is a pixelated texture, it looks a little strange to use uh, fractional values. So it's best to use whole numbers here but you get the idea. So play around with this, these values. This is the reflection color. Might look good in a translucent blue. There you go. And you can play around with the offset. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please put them in that little box down below. I'll see you in the next one.